Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Perfect. The work of a master. That, my students, is how we all should fight. You must be busy. I understand. Word has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. What can you tell me of the man himself? William has been named regent while the king conducts his war. The people see it as a strange choice given the history between Richard and William's son, Conrad. But I think Richard rather clever for it. Clever how? Richard and Conrad do not see eye to eye on most matters. Though they are civil enough in public, there are whispers that each intends evil upon the other. And then, there was that business with Akkar's captured Saracens. In its wake, Conrad has returned to Tyre, and Richard has compelled William to remain here as his guest. You mean his hostage? Whatever you wish to call it. William's presence here should dissuade Conrad from acting out. 
I've never been one for politics. But surely you realize your every action shapes the course of this land's future. You are a politician too, in your own way. As you wish. Now where would you suggest I begin my search? Richard's Citadel, southwest of here. Or rather, the market in front of it. You'll find the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in that direction as well. It's a popular place and should be filled with talkative citizens. Finally, try the border to the west, where the chain and hospitaler districts meet. That should start you on your way. Very well. I won't disturb you further. It's no trouble at all. You, Altair. He scared me. Richard's men are after me. Two of them, to be exact. I was trying to strike a deal with them, but I realized that they were toying with me, so I ran away. You shall be the angel of death and collect their heads before they collect mine. When it is done, I shall tell you of the deal. Now, why would you do such a It's forbidden for you to be here. <laughs> relief it is to know that I am safe. Thank you, Master. I tried to make a deal with the Citadel guards to leave the gates open even when the alarm sounds. I failed you. So now your only escape from Richard's Citadel will be to climb the fortress walls. Forgive me. Let me rear for a moment, Altair. William of Montferrat has replaced many of the district's honest merchants with men loyal to his cause. He seeks to weaken faith in King Richard by overcharging honest citizens for poorly crafted goods. These corrupt merchants must be removed. Find their stands and destroy them. What's that fool doing? Please, sir, have any money? But I need 
money, sir. I'm poor and I am your, your take it. Take it. a small thing you've done today, but it's important nonetheless. This bit of paper should prove useful when you finally face William. Qu'est-ce que tu veux? Safety and peace, brother. Although it seems I'll be receiving neither. Serves me right, I suppose. Got a bit careless, and now William sent his bowmen after me. I deal with them myself, but to be honest, I lack the skill. Would you be willing to seek them out and kill them? I, I might have something useful for you, were you to accept. But be careful not to let them see you. A few coins, all I ask for is put a few coins. Why is he doing that? Turned away from God. And so he punishes. On a upon his people. We came in peace to the Holy Land Go away, to spread the message of our Lord. Thank you. I can once more away. move freely through the city. In exchange for your aid, take this map I prepared. It shows where William has stationed his other archers. Most useful should you find yourself inside his fortress. Remain fixed in your beliefs. Though the road is long and your trials right. many, know that God watches over you. It is you to be out to suffer it. Graves and widows and orphaned sons. King Richard promises a bad morrow. Unspoiled land and new beginnings. But he's delivered only death. Stand up, friends. Do not allow yourself to be sent to slaughter based on the whims and wishes of an uncertain king. We must rely on men who are stronger in their convictions. Men like William of Montferrat! Right, sake. 
Richard's army. He is graced by God. It is only a matter of time, friends, before all the land is ours once more, just as it was I meant to be. I do not wish to be disturbed. Be not afraid. Fear and doubt are the weapons of our enemies. Do not listen to their lies. Poisonous words meant to sow the seeds of truth. If you find yourself tempted, go and pray. Ask God for direction. If your heart is pure, He will surely act. Leave now, or I'll make you leave. No. Get up, my ah. dear. Oh. 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 Ah. Uh. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. You regret that. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Stop! Uh, enough! Enough! What is it you want? Gold? I have a few pieces on me. Take them. Take them and go. It's not gold I seek, but information. I know nothing! You know William. Tell me how to reach him. It's impossible. He meets at the King. And when will the King be gone? Today. But it won't help you. They're sure to argue. And then William will retire to lecture the soldiers. So it always goes. Richard berates William. William berates his men. He won't see you. I already told you. I need to see William. I never said he needs to see me. Then our business is done. Not yet, I'm afraid. There's one last thing I need from you. What is it? Your life. <laughs> Supposed to be part of you really have a reason for doing that. They let you come and go as you please. I thought the fortress was closed to all. Aye. But William wishes to have repairs completed as soon as possible. It's been to our advantage. The perfect cover. He's clever. Anyway, I've finished my report and should deliver it. For once, it seems things might go our way. And not by accident. Well, the Bible does say God helps those who help themselves. Nah, it doesn't, actually. That's from one of Aesop's fables. The Bible says quite the opposite, in fact. Many passages of being patient and faithful, and waiting for the Lord to decide if he wishes to assist. Well, I say we've waited long enough. You'll hear no argument from me. Very well. I'm off then.
he run from? What's that fool doing? Altair, what brings you back so soon? I've done as asked and armed myself with knowledge. Speak, and I will judge. William's host is large and many men call him master, but he's not without enemies. He and King Richard do not see eye to eye. It's true, they've never been close. This works to my advantage. Richard's visit has upset him. Once the king has left, William will retreat into his fortress to brood. He'll be distracted. That's when I will strike. You're sure of this? As sure as I can be. And if things change, I'll adapt. Then I give you leave to go. End the life of Montferrat that we may call this city free. I'll return when the deed's been done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. of confusion. Ah! If you find yourself nice. tempted, go and pray. Ask God to direct. A plague upon Saladin. A plague upon his people. We came in peace to the Holy Land to spread the message of our Lord. and souls, William. I was told they would be held as prisoners and used to barter for the release of our men. The Saracens would not have honored their end of the bargain. You know this to be true. I did you a favor. <laughs> oh, yes. A great favor indeed. Now our enemies will be that much stronger in their convictions. Fight that much harder. I know our enemy well. They will not be emboldened, but filled with fear. Tell me, how is it you know the intentions of our enemies so well? You who forsake the field of battle to play politics? I did what was right, what was just. You swore an oath to uphold the work of God, William. But that is not what I see here. No, I see a man who's trampled it. Your words are most unkind, my liege. I would hope I might have earned your trust by now. You are Arthur's regent, William, set to rule in my stead. How much more trust is required? Perhaps you'd like my crown. You missed the point! But this is nothing new. Much as I'd like to waste my day trading words with you, I have a war to fight. We'll have to continue this another time. Do not let me delay you then, your grace. I fear there will be no place for men like him in the new world. Send word that I wish to speak with the troops. We must ensure that everyone is doing their part. Warn them that any negligence will be severely punished. I'm in no mood to be trifled with today. Yes, my lord. The rest of you, follow me.
Fiche le camp I don't understand what he's trying to accomplish. What's wrong with this? Sleep, as you see that! You won't get away from me! I can hear you doing a whole lot of it. Wir müssen ihm wiederkommen. Einmal schon habt ihr ihn verloren. Lasst ihn nicht noch einmal entfliehen. You hide. You'll return. Einmal schon habt ihr ihn verloren. Lasst ihn nicht noch einmal entfliehen. Pull this ground. This is the imperfection. I feel we have grown slack and lazy. We are committed. Why do you say this? I see the way you train. You lack conviction and focus. You gossip and beat. The two of you stand accused of whoring and drinking while on duty. What say you to these charges? My, 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 my lord, please. We, we, we meant no harm by it. We, we forgot ourselves. It will not happen again. No, it won't. Ah! 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 Disregard for duty is infectious. It shall be rooted out and destroyed in this way. We may prevent its spread. Am I understood? Yes, my lord. Of course. By your command. Good, good. Return to your posts filled with a new sense of purpose. Stay strong, stay focused, and we will triumph. Falter, however, and you will join these men. Be sure of it. Dismissed! Schemes are at an end. What do you know of my work? I know that you are going to murder Richard and claim Akka for your son Conrad. <laughs> for Conrad? My son is an arse, unfit to lead his host, let alone a kingdom. And Richard, the Oncino is no better, blinded as he is by faith in the insubstantial. Akka does not belong to either of them. Then who? The city belongs to its people. How can you claim to speak for the citizens? You stole their food, disciplined them without mercy, forced them into service under you. Everything I did, I did to prepare them for the new world. Stole their food? No. I took possession so that when the lean times came, it might be rationed properly. <coughs> Look around. My district is without crime, save those committed by you and your ilk. And as for the conscription, they were not being trained to fight. They were being taught the merits of order and discipline. These things are hardly evil. No matter how noble you believe your intentions, these acts are cruel and cannot continue. <laughs> we'll see how sweet they are, the fruits of your labors. You do not free the cities as you believe, but rather damn them. And in the end, you'll have only yourself to blame. You who speak of good intentions. Thank <laughs> you. 
News. William of Montferrat is dead, and with him his plans for betrayal. You've done well keeping Akka from his hands. But why now, when the Crusaders require unity most? Could have waited. Waited for what? For Richard to return and discover his schemes? No. It was the perfect time for him to strike. Strange. I was sure he meant to take Akka for Conrad, yet he claimed this was not his plan. You cannot trust the words of a snake, which even in death produces venom. I should discuss this with al -Mualim. Yes, my friend. Make haste for Masia. I am sure he is eager for news. Fast-forwarding memory to a more recent one. 